So what's an office that you might run for? Sheriff. Secretary. Secretary. Sheriff. sheriff. The sheriff's secretary. How about that? Well, you know what? In those political debates, they are so lucky. They have teleprompters to read from. We're even luckier, though, because we get to use your suggestions that you left outside when you were entering. So as we go through this little debate between our potential sheriff secretaries, sometimes we may come to a little bit of a stumble. We may not know what to say. So we're going to use your suggestions and integrate them into our scene. And you're about to see the 2012 nomination speech for the sheriff's secretary. She has won eight consecutive nominations. Here we have Missy Prezzi. So, ladies and gentlemen, first we would like to start out with our political stances as far as it goes for the Secretary of the Sheriff. Well, first of all, I say uh, legalize everything. It makes my job a lot easier. Secretary <laughs> Sheriff. And I'm all over this office. This is Sarah Palin wannabe. This is not going to happen. You know. Okay. In fact, I read, you know what? I, I, just, just the other day, I saw one of her, her lawn posters out there. Oh, what and did it say? I, it was very offensive. It said, I wasn't sleeping, I was resting my eyes. See, she sleeps on the job. That's all you need to know. All right, Mr. Jack. Um, what do you, you have to respond? You can also give us your platform if you would like. Well, if, if everything is legal, there will be complete and utter chaos. <laughs> That's a problem? That, we all, that would be a, a serious problem. And I will have to come out and uh, give the people the news of the things that are going on, which could be things like uh, misery loves company. <laughs> that is the chaos, you know. That's what the whole state will be like if I am not here to maintain order. Yes, that is quite chaotic. But I know that we have some people in the audience that do have very specific questions about I'm only human. <laughs> I they am. want to know, really, with your stances here, how does that connect to the people being human? Well, so they got to understand, I'm the people's man. I'm human. This is like some made-up Hollywood, Madison Avenue. It's just, it's, it's so disgusting. Exactly. You were on the front of Newsweek last week, and I saw that right at the top of the article. You know what it said? It said, I see dead people. <laughs> see? All this chaos talk, all this misery, and you're seeing dead people. I said people should be alive, people should party, people should just like take off their clothes and just walk out on their balcony and they should yell, there's healing in tears. So yeah, so it doesn't matter. So what, they get shot, they get stabbed, hey man, it's a party, everyone's going to have a good time. Okay, now That's my Chris, platform. He's put out some very interesting points here. What do you have to say about I said that tears not humanity. Tears. Humanity is community. Mm. Humanity is jobs. Humanity is insurance and stability for our children to be raised in a loving environment. You do not want the scourge of the earth in charge of your children. He will tell them things like, I'm sorry to say, you've been eliminated from the race. <laughs> you want your children to, to hear. See, I'm not above assassination. You know, I had to assassinate my last opponent. You might want to be aware of this. You know what he said to me? I looked him right in the eye. He was ahead in the polls. Thought I was gonna lose. I said, you know, I gotta take this guy out. And I looked right in his eye. I said, size matters. I said, fight on this, buddy. <laughs> was that, uh, was that uh, a race that happened in jail? Because I am the incumbent. Hey, it doesn't matter where it happened. I won. All right, all right, we're getting yeah, a little heated. We're getting a little heated. Let's get back to the points. Our constituents want to know the most important thing, and that is, will you accept this rose? This is the nomination rose, and I need to know who is willing to accept the responsibility of the constituents. Well, I hate to say in prison when someone gives you a rose. 
You know, it means you're going to get more sleep that night. One thing. And I have to say that in the real world, when someone gives you a rose, it means you're in. You're part of the team. Well, that's what it you means in prison, are the too. One. And I want all of you to have roses with me. I want us to live in a society of roses, not death and partying and freakishness. <laughs> no, I see, but when you're in prison and someone gives you a rose, you know, you wake up and you're sore and you end up with a tattoo on your ass, and that tattoo <laughs> says, I'm sexy, I'm cute, I'm popular to boot. <laughs> 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 <laughs>